so disrespectful. They don't even ask me where I work. They just like, hey, bro, uh, what you do for money? I'm like, nigga. <laughs> it's hard if you don't have if you don't have the, that thing in you that allows you to be totally free and open and, and, and cool with, with being you in front mm. of anybody. Mm. You guys hear that the, uh, the, the KKK changed their uniform colors? What color? Did you guys hear that? You guys, you guys know the original color? I'm sure you do. What's, what's the original color for the KKK uniform? Sir? Yeah, you're, you're correct. You're correct. They actually, uh, they changed it recently though. It's now, uh, it's now black and blue. Yeah, it uh, it comes with a badge. Uh... <laughs> Who's late? Who's late? Raise your hand if you're late. Just go ahead and let me in. All right, all right, all right. There's a couple of processes. You know, it's got to it's got to go through a couple of filters first, and it and it still sounds like it's unfiltered, but it's it's been trust me, it's been filtered. When you grow up in a house uh, uh, with domestic abuse, you start to see domestic abuse a little different. You know? Growing up, I realized that 85% of the punches my mother took were totally avoidable. <laughs> 85. <laughs> For once, she never ducked. <laughs> never even tried. Never came to her man at all. <laughs> and once. I remember having a conversation with her one time. I said, I said, why do you keep letting them hit you? She said, I don't know what to do. All right, well, I'll tell you, but first you gotta take me off punishment for hitting that girl at school. <laughs> all right, all right, well, first thing you wanna do, Ma, is you don't wanna get hit with the same three-punch combo for the last seven years. <laughs> Left, right, uppercut for the last seven years. <laughs> You start there. See, she, she used to get hit for the same thing every day, you know? She was leaving the coffee on the counter. Like, you know, it got it got to the point where at 4.30, I'd be like, you know Dad's on his way. You should probably just get that coffee off the counter, you know? <laughs> just try to help out. <laughs> I like well first thing you wanna do uh, is you wanna you know you wanna you wanna square up a little bit, you know? You wanna get your, your legs shorter width apart, you know? You wanna kinda you know, you don't wanna just stand there like a statue, that's what you know. <laughs> <laughs> Give yourself a chance. <laughs> All right, so what first thing you wanna do is when he throws that left, you wanna dip to the right. When he throws that right, you wanna dip to the left. When he throws that uppercut, you want to dip to the back. She's like, dip to the left, dip to the right, dip back. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, dip to the left, dip to the right, dip back. <laughs> dip to the left, dip to the right, dip back. I'm like, you think you got it? She's like, yeah. I was like, all right, look. Go put the coffee on the counter, we're going to try this shit. You know, his boots is hitting the metal guard on the steps on the way up, you know. I can hear him coming in. He comes in. Who left the coffee on the counter? Now I'm in the back room with my sister. I poke my head out. I'm like, what me? Because well, I want to get hit. <laughs> I know the combo, but still, I want to get hit, you know. <laughs> He's like, read up! Alright. Dip to the left, dip to the right. Dip back. Dip to the left, dip to the right. 
get back? I'm like, yeah. I'm like, now get out there. <laughs> get out there. She walks to the kitchen like it's a heavyweight fight, you know? <laughs> symphony of, of, of emotions that I, you know, I become the conductor. I mean, you might feel happy, you might feel sad, and then, you know, we laughing the whole time, though. <laughs> 